Catherine Yun Jensen born in 1958, is the former head of vaccine research and development at Pfizer. She previously led the development of HPV vaccine, a newer version of the pimococcal conjugate vaccine, and is working with Bio and Ted to create a COVID-19 vaccine using mRNA. This was a proof of emergency use Ultron rejection in the United States on December 11, 2020. Catherine Jensen achievement relevant to readership. Responsible for the Pfizer Bio and Ted. COVID-19 Vaccine Development Made tactical choices that are essential to the creation of vaccines Skillful lead interdisciplinary group In groundbreaking scientific discoveries Invented novel method for vaccinations and immunology made a major contribution to public health and healthcare worldwide. Distinctive challenge that the Catherine Jensen to overcome world class leader. Catherine Jensen closing the vaccine gap in the pandemic. This vaccine gap between rich and underdeveloped country was brought about by the AMOS observed the curve of fair available to vaccination during the COVID-19 e-pandemic, heading the Department of Research and Development. Catherine Jensen began working on the Pfizer vaccine, leading the charge to advance scientific discoveries in her performance has been a struggle for Catherine Jensen. Ultra vaccine are not a full pro way to combat the coronavirus. Their incredible quick development has proven to be a lifesaver for those living in area of the world where the virus is now spreading. Secondly, market penetration and company strategy are also Catherine Jensen area of expertise. Few have been in charge of extensive scientific research initiative and even fewer have developed vaccination that have the potential to save life. Leading Pfizer attempt to launch a COVID vaccine is less than a year is Catherine Jensen, who accomplished this impressive feat in a remarkable short amount of time. When the 2019 pandemic arrived, Pfizer and BioNTech were already working together to produce a flu mRNA vaccine. By using this experimental platform, the partner were able to shorten the 10 months vaccine development period to only 9 months. Furthermore, Pfizer has grown to become one of the biggest vaccine producers in the world under Catherine Jensen's direction. Many business obstacles must be overcome for the fit to success, including how to keep competitors at bay and increase vaccine manufacturing on a worldwide scale. Thirdly, Catherine Jensen is also facing difficult in creating large amount of vaccine to fulfill each country demand in a short period. Jensen has strategy to deal with them, including increasing production and collaborating closely with authorities. To overcome challenging and success, this kind of strategy thinking is necessary. She emphasized the significance of cooperation between Pfizer and BioNTech as well as between regular and government official tasks Ramos Wame 
conversation with Catherine Jensen. Working together like this is crucial to starting vaccination trial as soon as possible. Beyond that, Catherine Jensen is receptive to novel ideas such making use of mRNA technology, which is developing more quickly than convention vaccine technology. Catherine Jensen is known for practicing transformational leadership by focusing on inspiring and motivating others to reach their full potential. Transformational leadership focuses on personal development, fosters a shared vision, and creates a positive and empowering work environment. The first characteristic that makes her a great leader is vision. She has a clear and compelling vision for the future and can articulate vision in a sense of purpose to inspire and motivate team members. The second characteristic is empowerment. Jensen fosters an environment of trust and provides empowerment and autonomy to her team members. It has encouraged the team members to express their ideas, take control of self-work, and make meaningful contributions towards the organization and society. The third characteristic is inspiring. Katrin Jensen leads her team by being a role model in her team. She shows her passion for the pharmaceutical industry, embodies the values and principles, and displays integrity, tenacity, and a strong work ethic. It has inspired her team to strive beyond their wildest dreams and create a culture of excellence. One of the action plans that we can use to develop the skills to be just like Katherine Jensen is a collaboration between disciplines. We can take up a project to work with and learn from the others. For example, working with engineers and biologists to create a medical device that combines biological and technical elements help us to gain additional knowledge beyond our professional field. This initiative helps people from diverse backgrounds to gather and work together and a team towards common goals. We shall also practice complexity in making decisions, leading a team to evaluate and decide on the best course of action to address an unforeseen supply chain issue that might impact project timeframes requires a strategy approach to decision making. Complexity helps us to make better decisions, especially when urgent decision must be made quickly. Continuous learning and innovation are also essential, especially in fields like vaccine research, where advancement can have significant and immediate global impacts. This can be applied in our professional field by investigating and using cutting-edge approaches in doing research and attending specific workshops regarding our research areas. This will assist in learning more and expanding our knowledge horizons.